Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Hello Taurus, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as a cross watcher of the Taurus. And this is for March 2022. So, let's see here, Taurus and Taurus cross watchers. March 2022, wow, you got attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Some of you have been so stressed out maybe about things that have happened in the past, so stressed out about what's yet to come, that the universe spirit is asking you to relax, to take a moment to sort of just pause and reflect. Take a moment to retreat if that's necessary. You can see in this card, she's stopping to smell the roses. Roses here could be relevant somehow as well. Specifically, peach or pink colored roses. That may be a sign for some of you, the rose itself, okay? Now, law of attraction could be at, at, at hand here as well, where you're learning about law of attraction. You're learning that you can manifest. But in order to manifest, you are also learning that you must be the vibration of which you are trying to call in. So if you want success, you have to feel successful. If you want love, you have to be love. You have to love your goddamn self. All right, so you're attracting things in, taking a moment to pause and reflect. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Maybe for some of you, you're attracting in, obviously, something that is long-term. Maybe for some of you, you're taking this time to pause and reflect because you're not sure if this is the direction you want to go in. I'm not sure if I want to commit to something long term. And also for some of you, it's taking this moment to pause because you can feel that stuff is kicking up, right? And see, look, new love. For some of you, it's new love. You also have your forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Remember, it's not about being stressed out about the past, worrying about the future. It's about being in the now. You can't fix the past. You can only learn from it. You can't change the future. It hasn't come yet. You can only put yourself on the best path, right? Put yourself on the best trajectory to, to, to go where you want to go. You can't do nothing else. Be the vibration you want it to be. But some of you are stressing out over things that, you, that are done. You have no control over it anymore. It's over. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is someone that has a choice here. Someone has a choice to make. Someone made a choice and a decision here. And it was a very difficult one. Someone here may have ended a long-term relationship or ended a, an engagement. So maybe you or the other person, okay? Page of Pentacles is a younger earth sign. See, someone here didn't, didn't offer something to. That could have been why some of you ended this. You wanted deeper commitment. And someone here went offering that to you. It was always this bullshit excuse of why they can't commit. It was always some kind of a reason as to why they weren't giving you more. But the fact remains is that they just didn't want to. If they didn't, they didn't want to. So some of you may have made this hard decision to let go of a particular person or a job situation that wasn't going to give you what you wanted. More money, if it was a job, right? More flexibility. A promotion. And if it's a love, it's obvious it would be something more deeper, such as more commitment or getting married or engaged. Some of you made that hard decision and said, listen, I want more. I deserve more. Therefore, I'm going to end this situation, whether it was a job and you quit, gave them the ultimatum, or whether this is a relationship. And as you can see, new love is coming in here. And the emperor, that's Aries energy. The emperor is always is, is someone who's a boss. They're a leader, right? They're very aggressive. Eight of Wands is a ch big shift and a change. The, the Emperor can also be this dude right here. See how this guy here is not opening up, but he's also, is, it could be selfish. It could be someone that's stuck. Someone that doesn't want to open up, right? The Emperor's in control. He doesn't like to let go of control. So someone here was just refusing to give, refusing to give in. If this is you or them, I don't know. The Eight of Wands being this big shift in energy, right? Big... It could also be a message. Knight of Swords, yeah, it definitely could have been a message. Could have also been an argument. Something, a message comes in out of nowhere. 
It almost blindsides you. It's the blind side. Someone who is blindsided. Blindsided. And Ten of Cups here is about happily ever after, right? Ten of Cups here feels as if it's like the feeling of having it all. But someone here wasn't offering that. They weren't offering forever. They weren't offering even something more committed. It was, it was holding out. Someone didn't want to give in and they were holding out. And someone here may have made that decision to let go. And then now new love comes in. So it's screaming new beginnings. Endings, of course, first. The broom, see, it's unwanted. The broom is cleaning house. It's unavoidable, but it's cleaning up. And it's saying, listen, if this is not what you want, if this is not what you want, and I do, and I'm not going to compromise on that, then you've got to go. What you did was you made room, right? You, can't, you, you, you didn't compromise on what you wanted. The ego. The ego is about past, present, future. Someone here was so focused on what they lost in the past and they're worried about their future. They don't even see the opportunities that are going to be right in front of them. And the full moon is queen. It talks about radiant, beautiful, harmonious. Someone here is in their queen vibration. Someone here is harvesting. Says this is about being the priestess. Someone here is, you know, may really, really, really resonate with the energy of the high priestess. Being really spiritual, tapped in, feeling really connected to the divine, feeling really connected to spirituality. See how it feels like it keeps flipping? But it's not the squirrel. Squirrel is secretive. It's also hoarding. It's also saving. Remember what we said earlier? They were like holding back. They weren't giving in. That's that energy of the squirrel. They like save it all for themselves. Someone wasn't giving you anything, giving you what you wanted. It's like you wanted commitment. They said no. And then you said, okay, fine. And now you're going to get it. See, look, you get it. The Celtic Knot. Celtic Knot is fucking divine union. It's love of a lifetime. It's unconditional love. Like if this person wasn't giving it to you, you trust, you let go. It actually comes in. The real thing. See? The rider. It comes in. The rider talks about a messenger, right? But it's movement. It's travel. It's news. It's a visitor. It's green light. It's a delivery and it's goals and progress. It's like it's like the, the real thing comes in when you finally say enough's enough. And I think for some of you, you may not have even been in an actual relationship with this person. It could have just been someone that you were just hoping could turn into something more committed. And that's the worst. Is that you're just feeling like, damn, I was waiting all this time thinking it was this person. Occupations. See, there's a change in occupation here. Someone quits their job or they, or they say, listen, I need more money or I need to be promoted and that doesn't happen. Now they end that job and there's new beginnings. The child could be an actual child involved or pregnancy, but it feels like something new. Because a child is new beginnings. It's innocence. Despair. Someone here is really stressed out about something. You can see that in the sign behind him, it says not hiring. So some of you may have had difficulties, you or your person, in finding a new job. And that can be really stressful when it's fucking self. And then the gift. Some of you get this thing that comes to you in your time of need. Could it be a job? Could it be money? It's something that comes in and it's a blessing. It comes in right at the moment you need it the most. It's like it comes in clutch. All right, we're going to get a few of these out and then we're going to head into your extended. If you want to purchase the extended, click on the link below. It's that upside down triangle and it's going to take you to my description box. The link is there. Um, also in the description box below is my Patreon account. If you guys want to follow me on Patreon, it's where I do my erotic tarot readings. And there's a whole nother beast there, okay? It's not the ones that you can rent from my website. So the link is below. And also below is the link to go to my website or go straight there, saltwaterheelstarot.com. I'm taking pre-orders for my newest I Am Love revised bracelet. You see there's a Celtic Knot heart right there. You guys got the Celtic Knot. 
So it's this gorgeous bracelet. It's half amethyst, half rose quartz. And also on my website, my daughter has her second bracelet she came out with, which is gorgeous cherry blossom sakuda. It is um, flaragate beads. So both are pre-orders to be mailed out sometime next month in March, okay? Now, as we were saying, you guys have the coffin. Coffin literally says endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, and transition. See, you're in between something. You're going from one thing into another. And it can be kind of scary. But I think that's that pause and reflection. It's like pausing to say, I don't like what this is. I don't like where I'm at. I'm wa I want new. I want change. And then you have ascending. Transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase. And it literally fucking says on the bottom of it, preparing for union. Remember, you had divine union with the Celtic knot. Everything screams new beginnings and getting what you want, but you have to be able to say, I want it. And if this is these options aren't giving it to me, then it's not for me. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into your extended. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's XI underscore Missy underscore XI. And please do not be duped by the fake accounts pretending to be me on both. I only have one account on each. I do not have backups or other ones similar. XI underscore Missy underscore XI. All right, I'll see you in your extended. Love you.